I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to cover nootropic safety and side effects. We use nootropics to enhance cognitive function and because we want to perform better, improve our productivity, and live our lives to our full potential. But is there a cost to boosting cognitive function with nootropics? It crosses the mind of nearly every neurohacker at one time or another. Is my nootropic stack safe? Is the nootropic I'm about to try going to do anything other than help? In this video, we're going to look past the hype and take a look, a critical look, at nootropic safety and potential side effects. First, let's begin by defining what we mean by nootropic. At Nootropics Expert, we start with the original definition and intent stated by Dr. Cornelia Gurgeo, the man who designed Paracetam. Dr. Gurgeo stated that a nootropic must be non-toxic even when with long-term use. It should be able to protect the brain and even repair damage caused by pharmaceuticals and other toxins. Now, with this view of nootropics as a brain enhancement supplements, we choose to exclude smart drugs from this category of neuroenhancers, including popular drugs like Adderall and Modafinil. Nootropics are generally made from plants. The supplement is often taken from plant ingredients or extracts. And many of these plant-based nootropics have been safely used for thousands of years. Bacopa monnieri, or Brahmi, which is used in my favorite pre-made stack, MindLab Pro, for example, was mentioned in the ancient Ayurvedic texts. It was recommended to devotees to help memorize long passages of text. Even the Racetam family of nootropics are derived from biochemicals naturally produced in your body. For example, Paracetam is a cyclic derivative of GABA, which is naturally produced throughout your body, including your brain. Contrary to claims made by the pharmaceutical and sometimes mainstream medical professionals, most nootropics have undergone extensive research, even for long-term use by animals and humans. Part of the problem with Western medical journals is a lot of nootropic compound research has been done in countries other than the United States, often in languages other than English and are not included in databases like PubMed or Medline. However, for us to claim there are no dangers in using nootropics would be unprofessional and a disservice to you. Each nootropic compound or substance has a different mechanism of action in the brain and in your body. Factors to consider by every neurohacker include dosage, your age, drug interaction or complication, duration and frequency of use, and effects in your brain on neurotransmitters, neurons, and other cognitive functions. One term you'll come across frequently in nootropic circles and communities is your mileage may vary, or a YMMV. Each of us has unique biochemistry, and we're affected by our environment, the foods we eat, the water we drink, the air we breathe, and even genetics inherited from our family. Some neurohackers can use a nootropic for years with no problems and stop usage with no effect on cognitive function, while others can use a supplement for years and when discontinuing usage, experience significant cognitive impairment. At Nootropics Expert, we do our best to provide the clinical research backing up each nootropic. We include dosage recommendations, side effects, and potential drug interactions for each nootropic. We have common issues that can be applied to most of the nootropics we explore on Nootropics Expert. Many neurohackers will not experience side effects from most of the nootropic compounds we cover, but you could have issues. It's your responsibility as a neurohacker to thoroughly research each substance you're considering adding to your nootropic stack. We are not medical professionals. I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on TV and I make no claims and cannot give advice that you should be getting from a medical professional you have a working relationship with. Now here's a list of potential side effects to help you to evaluate each nootropic. 
Each nootropic alters how your brain functions. The mechanism of action could include cerebral circulation, neurotransmitters, neuroreceptors, or hormone levels. Some nootropics affect the most basic and critical functions of a brain cell, including the cell membrane, mitochondria, and even DNA. Others influence chemical movement into and out of brain cells, or can act as an antioxidant and free radical scavenger. This constant alteration in brain chemistry can expand or shrink certain areas of your brain, altering how your brain works while you're using the nootropic, even after you discontinue use. Many of the nootropics we use for optimizing cognition can interact with prescription drugs. And the reason why we often include warnings, or I include warnings in the side effects section of each nootropic article on Nootropics Expert. Some adverse reactions between a nootropic and a pharmaceutical can be deadly. So please carefully read the cautions and warnings I provide and use other resources you can find online which provide extensive lists of contraindications. I will always suggest working with a medical professional like your doctor if you're combining nootropics with prescription drugs. But most doctors know less than you about nootropics. So do your research and listen to your body and your brain and always assume you may have a problem when combining prescription or over-the-counter drugs with nootropics. Some nootropics can have a cumulative effect in your brain. Constant use of something like Huprazine A, for example, can be a problem. Huprazine A has a long half-life and doesn't leave your body as quickly as most other nootropics. Huprazine A can also be toxic if used in larger than recommended doses. Huprazine A is a potent acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, which means Huprazine A prevents the breakdown of acetylcholine. If you already have high levels of acetylcholine, you're setting yourself up for a problem with excess acetylcholine in your brain. Huprazine A is just one example of a nootropic that when used in too high a dose or for continuous extended periods can cause big problems. Other nootropics act as stimulants that can take a toll on your neurons if used for extended periods. Others alter your circadian rhythm, which can affect sleep and energy levels. The strongest recommendation I can offer is to carefully read each nootropic article on Nootropics Expert. Or when you're listening to these videos, listen carefully and take note of the dosage recommendations, timing, and side effects. And if you experience any problems, stop using that nootropic. Some neurohackers report that extended nootropic usage for cognitive enhancement leaves them dependent on that nootropic. When they stop using the nootropic, their cognitive function declines, not only to baseline levels like when they started, but has a negative effect on, or on cognition worse than what they tried to correct. Now, you know your body chemistry better than anyone else on Earth. Listen to your body and brain. If you experience negative effects when stopping use of a nootropic, carefully assess your options. You may want to completely avoid that nootropic and find another nootropic that can help correct the problems caused by long-term usage of the original substance. Most neurohackers will not experience this type of dependence using the same nootropic. Get to know your body and brain and listen. Experimentation, knowledge, and wisdom are critical when it comes to hacking your brain. Know who your supplier is for the nootropics you use in your stack. Do your best to get an assay of the compound or certificate of analysis you're using, verifying its purity and source. Nootropic supplements are not regulated like pharmaceuticals. This is not as scary as it sounds because there is far more documented evidence of problems with prescription drugs than there are for nootropics and dietary supplements. No one that we know of has overdosed and died because of nootropic usage. Now that's not to say no one has ended up in the ER or with serious health issues because of a nootropic. But the bottom line is that nootropics are some of the safest and most vetted supplements on the market today. Read the user reviews of each nootropic at the supplier you are considering using. Get to know your supplier and do your best to verify the quality of their product.
and research the heck out of each nootropic you're using or plan to use. Nootropics Expert has dozens of clinical studies and user information for each nootropic I write about. Most I've tried or I use it every day myself. Lack of regulation means the responsibility is entirely yours to use nootropics responsibly and safely. We have plenty of evidence, scientific and user feedback on the problems with many pharmaceutical drugs. Researchers discovered that benzodiazepines can cause dementia after following it with patients for 15 years. Antipsychotics used in the treatment of schizophrenia have been found to cause brain shrinkage over time. Tricyclic antidepressants and antihistamines have been found to cause dementia and contribute to Alzheimer's disease. My point in bringing up these findings with prescription pharmaceuticals used to treat everything from Alzheimer's to stuffed up sinus to insomnia is that they affect neurotransmitters in your brain. Nootropics often target neurotransmitters in your brain as well. Altering neurotransmitters and neurotransmission is serious business and can have equally serious consequences if you're not careful. For optimal cognition and brain health, your brain maintains a delicate balance of all neurotransmitters. Each works in synergy which, with another and is often dependent on optimal neurotransmitter levels, good cerebral blood flow, and many other factors. Boosting a neurotransmitter like dopamine too much and for extended periods can damage or kill neurons or neuroreceptors and cause irritability, insomnia, and other issues in the short term. Excess serotonin can result in serotonin syndrome, which can kill you. I can provide countless other examples of irresponsible nootropic use and out-of-whack neurotransmitter levels. But your brain is a beautifully designed piece of equipment. Neuroplasticity and common sense can salvage most mistakes. Caution is always advised. Every nootropic article on our list of nootropics has a side effects section. Always assume that anything you do to alter brain chemistry or metabolism can have adverse effects. Most neurohackers will not experience adverse effects for a single nootropic. But more sensitive individuals may experience dizziness, headaches, insomnia, migraines, rashes, and may many other adverse reactions. And why we always say your mileage may vary because everybody's body chemistry and metabolism is different. If you experience a side effect to one nootropic, stop using it and try something else. Experimentation is key to optimizing cognition. We mentioned dependence earlier in this video, which ties in somewhat with tolerance. Tolerance is loosely defined as not getting the same benefit out of a nootropic with consistent and or long-term use. The placebo effect is applicable to nootropic usage and some can develop a psychological dependence on a nootropic. Thinking you'll have a memory problem, for example, if you don't take your daily stack can be very real, even though the mechanism of action of that nootropic or stack pr proves otherwise. Some nootropics with a stimulant effect can produce a real tolerance issue. Experienced neurohackers will cycle aniracetam, for example, and take a two-day-per-week holiday to avoid tolerance. Tolerance happens when your brain adjusts to using a certain nootropic, and as it adjusts, it can become less effective over time. The temptation is to increase your dosage to achieve the same effect, and is nearly always a very bad idea. Taking higher than recommended doses of a nootropic can often be toxic to your brain. My rec recommendation is to never ever exceed recommended doses for any nootropic. The least that can happen is a decline in quality of life. The worst is permanent brain damage. Most neurohackers will not experience withdrawal symptoms when they stop using a nootropic. Most nootropics are completely safe to use without the worry of withdrawal symptoms, but a few will feel like they're going through withdrawal. Now, some nootropics like Phenibit, which affects GABA levels in your brain, can induce withdrawal symptoms. 
Nicotine is another that can be very addictive and can certainly cause withdrawal symptoms when you stop using it. Read the user reviews, form comments, and how does it feel section for, for each of my nootropic reviews. And you'll get a sense for which nootropics may lead to withdrawal symptoms. Nootropics are generally safe to use and most will not produce adverse side effects or cognition problems even with long-term use. But it is your responsibility to use nootropics safely. Read the user reviews and forums and see what others are saying. Carefully review each nootropic review on Nootropics Expert before adding it to your stack. Always follow recommended dosages and start with the lowest dose possible to see how your body reacts. Be aware of possible interactions and contraindications with other prescription and non-prescription drugs. More is not better when it comes to neurohacking. Dosage guidelines are based on decades of nootropic use and personal experience. You'll experience the opposite effect or get no benefit by overdosing. Pay attention to cycling recommendations and using certain nootropics on an as-needed basis. If your gut is telling you to stay away from a certain supplement, then don't take it. Nootropics are generally safe to use to optimize brain function, but caution is always advised. And that's my report on nootropic safety and side effects. If you want to read the full transcript of this video, you'll find a link to it below this video. You'll also find dozens of articles on all the most popular nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using nootropics safely or any side effects you've experienced, please use the comments section below this video or at the bottom of my Nootropic Safety and Side Effects article on Nootropics Expert. I do my best to respond to comments and questions as quickly as I can. If you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and it contains details of 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And consider getting a copy of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First is nearly 600 pages and the best guide on the planet for fixing and optimizing your brain. Now, if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a cons personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below this video. And if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.